find the general solution of the given system. So here's the system and you are dx d over dt equal this dy over dt over equal this. So you are going to use matrix you are going to use matrix method to solve this one. So first of all you need to rewrite it in a basic in a standard form which is a vector x prime equals uh, put this into a matrix times x vector x okay so here's basically you just bring down the leading coefficient of x and y and put it into a matrix for example one two four three okay all right and then you are going to find a minus lambda i what is lambda i lambda i is equal to lambda times the base matrix i one zero zero one okay and then you take this matrix you take this matrix you let's call this matrix a and then subtract this matrix okay so you have this one right and then you're going to find the determinant of a minus lambda i which is 1 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda minus 2 times 4 which is 8 okay after you distribute this out and simplify it down to factor form you get and then set it equal to 0 solve for lambda you will get lambda equals 5 and negative 1 all right so here's your eigenvalues so for each eigenvalue you will get a, a an eigenvector for it let's do it one by one so first for lambda e lambda 1 equals 5 so plug in 5 into here that gives you this matrix negative 4 2 4 negative 2 and then you augment it with 0 all right so the goal is to find the vector k so you don't need to reduce this down to a one one diagonal matrix so i from because if when you you will you should know that when you reduce this down to a, a diagonal line one matrix you will get infinite solution so at this step i don't need to reduce this down to that one just use one of the to solve for the unknown so for this one I have let's see so I'm gonna pick the second row so for k1 minus 2 k2 equals 0 okay so this is basically the same as you write for a for uh, a an equation okay All right now you solve for this one so I'm gonna solve for k2 that gives me 2 k1 okay now k1 is in terms of k2 okay because you have infinite solution all right so let's do k1 equals 1 then that gives me k2 equals 2 all right then my vector k1 is equal to 1 2 all right so that is k1 for lambda 1 equals 5 now you are going to do the same thing for lambda equals negative 1 plug it into here you will get a matrix which is this matrix okay and then again if you reduce this down to a base matrix you will get infinite solution okay so i'm going to use the first e equation that is 2k1 plus 2k2 equals 0 then so for k1 i got negative i got k1 equals negative k2 all right so let's use k1 equals 1 then k2 equals negative 1 you can choose whatever k whatever lab whatever value for k1 or k2 it's up to you okay then but i usually use one as a standard number okay then my vector k2 equals one negative one okay k1 k2 which is one negative one respectively all right now since you have this thing real numbers or uh, this thing real eigenvalues for lambda your final solution should be in this form okay so let me move this up a little bit so here's your final solution so because you have this thing real eigenvalues your final solution will be written in this form c1 k1 e to the lambda 1 t plus c2 k2 e to the lambda 2 t plus all the way so if you have three lambdas that's gonna you're gonna have c3 all the way down to the end okay in this case you have two values for lambda so we have two uh, solutions like i mean two sub solutions in my final solution is equal to c1 times k vector k1 which is this one e to the lambda 1 t lambda 1 is 5 with respect to this k so you have 5 t e to the 5 t plus c2 times k2 k2 is this one 1 negative 1 e to the negative t 
because lambda 2 is negative 1 okay so your final answer has to be has to has c1 times k time vector k because the here is your constant so this one can be changeable depending on this one so this could be negative 1 negative 2 and if you pull out the negative 1 it can um, you can get it from c1 because c1 is constant and non-constant so you can take it out and put it in okay so you must have c1 c2 all right that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time